Uh, this is a quick video here. Um, <clears throat> so, got okay, some questions about this bike, the 660. People want to know, well, I got a couple comments. They want to know where to buy one. So, that's the only one. I built that one. Uh, you can see the videos on my channel uh, of the bike, of the build of this bike. Uh, but yeah, this bike does not exist. Uh, the graphics are custom. The motor was built. Uh, I got it on eBay from Germany. And I had to get the missing pieces and make some mods to get it to work. So um, <coughs> it uh, is a 1990 sidecar engine. Uh, there's less than 50 of them that were made, so it's a very rare bike, or very rare engine, but it went in a sidecar. The frame is a 2005 Mako 500 frame, so uh, the, the motor is in that box over there actually, uh, the original motor. So you can go on my channel and you can see all the web or the, all the videos of me building this bike. It um, was a whole series of building it, plus there's one master video called a 660 build. And that just has uh, some snippets of all the other videos into one compilation. Where the other videos are long videos of one thing, that's just one video of everything. Uh, and, a quick, and a quick thing, so. And my bike was in the one motorcycle show. So, on the back, you can find my name on the builders. It's the second one. <clears throat> so, so yeah, so, now the guy in Germany who builds the newer bikes, the Mika 700, and the 620, uh, he has, he bought all the tooling, and he has all the new old stock parts. And he says that if someone actually wants a 660 engine, he has the parts to build one. So, if you feel like you don't want the 685 or the 620 or the 500, and you want the 660, well, um, you'd have to... I mean, the front end of this is an RM250 front end, by the way. It's not even the Mako front end. The frame is Mako. Um, the pipe Zabel. There's another Zabel pipe there, which is for this bike that I'm building, which is a Zabel 700. People ask you what I'm building next, and it's a Zabel 700. <coughs> so, um, yeah, so if you wanted to get a bike exactly like that, you'd have to buy the frame and everything and uh, all the parts and contact the guy who made my. The uh, seat's a YZ seat cover, so plastics are YZ, except for the front, this is a Suzuki Fender. You'd have to contact um, JJW uh, to get the um, graphics made, but, <clears throat> so you pretty much have to make this bike, I mean, the guy in Germany will make you the engine and he can sell you the frame and stuff, but, uh, you could probably ask him to put it into a make a 700 frame like that, but I'm not sure he'd go as far as making it exactly like this one. So I think that you'd have to do all that. But so yeah, that's the it's a quick video for people who are, are new to the channel. But yeah, so that that's a bike that was built. That's the only one there is. There's no other ones. And to find that engine, I mean. Like I said, there's less than 50 of them made. I'm not sure where they are at. You know, this one here was full of mud and dirt, as you can see in my rebuild videos. So, who knows where the other ones are? They could still be in sidecars. Here he's sitting in someone's basement, rotting away. I don't know. Who knows? So, I've never seen one before. Before I got it, I didn't know they existed because I didn't make a brochure for them. And I have all the brochures from the 90s. They don't, it's not in there. You could buy a um, 620 engine, but you couldn't buy a 660 engine. Not in the brochures. 
So I have no idea where it came from, what year it is or anything. There's not even any serial numbers on it. In fact, if you look at the, the engine cases, there's no serial numbers on it whatsoever. I have no, no idea where it came from. It's just sitting on the stand. You can see there. <clears throat> That's where the serial number should be. I don't think there's any on it. Yeah, there's none on it. So, so yeah, I was told that when I contacted Kostler that they, uh, when they made them, they never made a brochure or anything, they only made them for sidecars, so. Yeah, I mean, there's not even a serial number on it, so. Whereas all these other bikes, they have serial numbers. I mean, even, even the Zabel one has serial numbers on it, so. That's my only bike that has no serial numbers on it whatsoever. The cases are powder coated, but um, that's typical because even the 545 engine had powder coated cases like that one. So, it's going to be typical of these older, bigger wars, bigger than 500. They're on the 90s, but yeah, there's no serial numbers on it. So, <clears throat> yeah, if you're wondering about it, you know. That's pretty much. Pretty much it, so, so yeah, that, uh, that's the only one like that in the world. I got this idea of putting this Mako sticker on the front from Mako International and they had it on their bikes. And I found one of these on German eBay. It's a really nice sticker too, so if you wanted to buy it. I was looking at German eBay for Mako stickers. It's real thick. It's a really nice thick sticker. That's exactly the type of sticker you can put on a bike because it's a thick sticker, a nice sticker. You know, it's the same, almost same type of material as you find in these gas tanks. I mean, it's real nice. It's not just some cheap uh, little sticker. It's a, it's a pretty good, well-made sticker. So, yep. So that's it. If you're wondering about this bike. And you hadn't seen my other videos, then then that's what uh, is about the bike.